Okay, so I almost uh, decomposed and moved to the new location. So here is my old base. Um, it's really small, it's just a tube and there is no uh, ability to expand it. There is all, only one platform here can be uh, you know expanded here there is no way to expand here no way to expand there so it's like you know starter base that's fine but I mean there is no perspective and here's a new one um, I will show it a little bit later so um, I need to move some stuff from here this fabricator uh, this radio and yeah, I still have place. I can deconstruct this stuff. And yeah, we can move. So this one. Okay. Emergency power only. And before um, I will save right there because this is, um, as you see, base attached air pump. This is basically the only place that I um, put some air into this base. So I have no idea how this base working. Maybe it's some kind of feature, not a bug. Uh, we will see. I saved, so maybe after I will destroy this uh, you know pump and this pipe uh, maybe there will be some problems there but we'll see or maybe it's just self-sustained so this stuff does not need this air pump so sure let's build one more Nope. So, yeah. So, let's check. Yeah, it's not... Oop. Oop. Okay. Okay. Um, Deconstruct. I'm sure she'll be more than satisfied with that. Okay. So there is no warning messages. That's kind of promising. Hello, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's working. I think this, um, it's called Moon Pool. It's just self, uh, it doesn't need this breathable air but that's kind of strange i mean i don't see any bubbles maybe this stuff somehow yeah whatever i thought i i really needed this one so yeah, that's strange okay so the new base let's take a look so we have this hatch here i really love this animation pretty cool um, so uh, the main room with CMOS uh, with power cell charger finally fabricator a lot of lockers to put your stuff on uh, upgrade console you can control the color of CMOS and I also upgraded CMOS 
So we have storage here. I have uh, uh, some upgrades here. So it's uh, storage, yeah. how enforcement I can go deeper and uh, yeah, I can go deeper and I more reinforced under uh, for any kind of collision with fish, big fish or even rocks. Mm, also some reinforcement here and personal locker with uh, just, you know, inventory. So I will call this inventory. Okay, um, entrance, yeah, and uh, this room I really like, even, you know, in the current state, I really like the functionality of it, because it's provided your ability to scan for 300 meters, uh, scan for some items, so you just uh, say what I want to find, some wreck, or I don't know, limestone chunk, and it will show you the dots on this, uh, you know, hollow, hollow map. So we are here and some dots there. Yeah, and another room. <coughs> some window here. <laughs> uh, another window. Uh, and a uh, big habitat room with five lockers for now. There will be some other stuff because I explored this game for like 10 hours approximately and I have a lot to build on, so uh, I have just yeah uh, a lot of type of compartments, glass compartment is really cool looking, observatory, uh, I cannot create it because I need this enameled uh, glass, uh, yeah scanner room, that one, the one with scanning uh, multi-purpose uh, room glass dome as well enamel glass it will give you ability to 360 you know with glass that's really cool so let's drink something actually <coughs> ah, I think it's there yeah no I actually will leave this water for future. Signs so yeah, uh, this is my new base. I really like uh, it's kind of comfy and there is a potential to grow. So uh, please share your thoughts. Uh, what should I explore next? And see you soon. Thank you.